All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic Wednesday and you're ready for some Leeds United transfer news. But as always, before we do get into the transfer news, be sure to smash that like button. Let's try for 500 likes again. Also, subscribe if you're new. There's still about 70% of you who are not subscribed. What are you doing? Get down there and subscribe right now. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. And also, comment today. I've got another question of the day, another Leeds United trivia. How many teams has Patrick Bamford played for? Let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the latest Leeds United transfer news. Guys, there's a lot of transfer news we need to talk about today. The first one is Tyler Adams has officially signed for Leeds United. It broke about 20 minutes ago. He has signed. It's fantastic. £20 million. He's here till 2027, which is a five-year contract. And he is that Calvin Phillips replacement. People are already judging, saying he's not the right player. He's not good enough. He's not better than Calvin. Why we brought him in? Listen, back him. He's a Leeds United player now. He's Jesse Marsh's player, and he will be good. His attitude already, he's had an interview that I've already watched. He comes across really well. He's ready to compete. He's ready to challenge, and he looks ready ready for Leeds United. Uh, he looks ready for the Premier League, and I'm excited. It's our fifth signing already, and we haven't even played a preseason game yet. We're moving brilliantly. Obviously, we've got rid of Calvin Phillips, and Rafinha might be out the door, but still... A lot of things going on with Leeds United. A lot of positivity coming out of Leeds United. So Tyler Adams is the next signing. I'm happy. I'm happy. A lot of people are obviously going to compare it to Mo Kamara. You can. But the thing is, it, he's not our player. And I don't know if he ever was. So, listen, you, you can't compare to something you didn't have. Tyler Adams is here now. And let's see how well he does next to Mark Roca in the middle of the park. I'm excited, guys. It's a new season. It's a new journey. A new chapter. For Leeds United, I don't know how people are still being negative, still saying, oh, if it was Bielsa, I love Bielsa and I hope he's doing well. But also, it's the Jesse Marsh era now. It's a new Leeds. Let's just go for it. Side before self. We've got to always focus on that. And the people are already slating Tyler Adams. You've got to back him. He's a Leeds United player now. £20 million, five-year contract. Uh, next bit of news, guys, uh, is Charles de Quetelaire. <laughs> Apparently, Leeds put in a £35 million, um, bid in for him. Or sorry, 35 million euro bid for him. Um, uh, Club Bruges accepted, but De Ketelaire refused. He rejected Leeds United. He doesn't want to join. He's, he's waiting out for AC Milan. For me, straight away, I think find someone else. I do not want to keep going for a player who doesn't want to be at the club. That's just me. A lot of people are saying, okay, let's wait until what AC Milan. And apparently AC Milan can't match the bid that Leeds United have done. So... But for me, I, I would look for other options. I personally would. Uh, it does look like Cody Gakpo is back in the talking. Apparently, we want him as well as Luis Sinistera, who also is having his medical in like the next day or two. He's he's arrived in the UK. I believe there was a leaked photo that he's arrived in the UK. And Luis Sinistera will be that Rafinha replacement. Um, listen, so what I'm trying to say is Charles de Quetelaire, <laughs> basically, we've sent in a bid. And he doesn't really want to come to Leeds. He wants that uh, trip out to AC Milan. But AC Milan are not getting the right offer for Club Bruges. So I don't know how that's going to go. I would go for another striker. Gakpo's brought up again because they said uh, it was a PSV newsletter that said Leeds still want Cody Gakpo. And could he be that leading man? Because he can play striking, playing the whole of the front three. So maybe Gakpo is the answer. Uh, Luis Sinistera was bought as a Rafinha replacement. Leeds want to know what happened with Rafinha. By Thursday, he's told, his agent's told out that he doesn't want to join Chelsea at all. He's waiting for Barcelona. If they don't decide by the 12th of July, he has to be back in training. Um, and that's what Legion I've said to him. But by this Thursday, they do want to know what Barcelona is saying. So at least they put a deadline on it, which I do like. Also in the news, Tyler Roberts will be leaving Legion United on a loan move to QPR with an option to buy at the end of the season for around £4.5 million. Good move for Tyler Roberts. Proud of him. He should go out there in the championship and smash it for QPR. I'm not one of these people who just chuck negativity on him. I, I don't believe that's the case, and it, it shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. I hope he smashes it out there. Jamie Shackleton, which I did report a few weeks ago. I did have a bit of an in-the-know. I knew a mate of his mate. I don't know. And it said Jamie Shackleton will be going out on loan. It looks like championship clubs are looking at him as well. But Tyler Roberts should be official in the next day or two, I believe, at QPR. You know what? Go smash it, son. Do yourself proud. Um, yeah, like I was, I'm going on that bit of Legion United want Gakpo in addition to Sinistera as well. This will only be, I reckon, if Rafinha does get sold. This is still a mystery, isn't it? Will Rafinha get sold? I don't know. I do not know even when Luis uh, Sinistera will be officially announced. I believe it will be in the next day or two, maybe even tomorrow. They could even do a late one tonight. But I believe he is doing his medical today 
maybe as we speak, I'm not 100% sure though, but it, he will be a Legion United player this week before we go to Australia. Leeds do play tomorrow night against Blackpool in a friendly. Obviously, if you do want to watch the uh, friendlies, it's on LUTV, £5 per preseason game, which is a, a talking point in itself. I'm not very happy with that, but there we are. I'm, I don't even think I'm going to be able to watch the one tomorrow. I think I'm busy, but either way... Um, the next day, I will report on, on what happened and stuff. But if you want to do that yourself, if you didn't know, it's on LUTV. But guys, listen, a lot is going on with Leeds United. I'm very proud about what's going on. Apparently, Leeds are looking at now uh, Stoke City's left-back, Josh Tymon. Don't know how much uh, about that, but it's good that we're looking for a left-back. Um, just, to, just to talk about Charles de Ketelaire for a second. Obviously, we're looking to put in a €35 million Euro bid. We have, and it got accepted by... Club Bruges, but the fact that he doesn't want to join it, it, it turns me off straight away. Do you know what I mean? I do not want a player who's not like uh, who's not fully on on Leeds United. And people are saying about Tyler Adams, yeah, he might not be the best replacement, but I could tell he wants to be here, and that's exactly what you need. Sometimes the best of players are the players that just show passion and want to be there. It's not the players that have got like I wouldn't like Noah Lang. I think his attitude stinks, um, and and I think De Ketelaire maybe he just wants another move. And that's fair enough. He wants to get AC Milan, but I don't want AC Milan can't do anything. And then we have to then just take the afters. I'm not no on sloppy seconds right now. Okay. And Legion, I make sure we are not. Um, when we signed Sinistera, I mean, at the moment, we've already signed 67 millions worth of signings. When it's Sinistera, it's looking about uh, 25 million pounds there. It'll be up to nearly like 87 million or whatever it is. And then, yeah, listen, if we sign one more striker, it might be, we we might have an over 100 million summer window, which is absolutely special for Leeds United. And this isn't the Leeds United I fell in love with. But guys, I think I've got you all up to date, really, uh, with everything. Obviously, Adams has signed um, and Charles Tequetelea has rejected. Rafinha still up in the air. He doesn't want to join Chelsea, but they're waiting on Barcelona in the next few days. Cody Gakpo, rumours have come about again from a PSV source. I don't 100% believe that because I do believe he's he, he's not in the conversation anymore. I believe we'll go for another player. Um, Jack Harrison to Newcastle. That's still on the cards. I believe maybe it'll be Rafinha or Harrison who goes. I prefer Harrison because, again, Harrison wants to be here, if I'm being completely honest. Rafinha doesn't. But if Rafinha can stay another season, then I'll be completely chuffed with it, obviously. But um, that that's just how exactly how I see it. I'm trying to look for any more news, and I believe it is just Tyler Adams has announced today. Very happy with that signing. I don't know why anyone else would be negative towards it. Lee, let me know in the comments what's your thoughts about it. Um, Charles de Kessler has rejected Leeds United. Rafinha looks like he was on his way out to Barcelona, but we're going to, you know, that's all still up in the air. Shackleton's on a way out, loan out. Same with Tyler Roberts. Wish them both uh, some luck. And yeah, I think that's all up to date, guys, with everything. Obviously, if something drops, I will chuck on um, another video. The reason why I haven't done a lot of videos in front of the camera, I'm start, I'm trying to just test out new things for the start of the new season. New microphone, new background. I'm just in the works. So when I do have my my phone just recording videos, it's just because I'm, I'm sorting stuff out that you can't see off camera. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you're new. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery.